<gasps> Good morning, son. How are you, little Rowan? Oh, gosh, you know, I haven't given him a gift in a long time. So what about pancakes? Oh, no, apparently I can't give him any pancakes. Well, curses. Uh, Rowan, what about this daffodil? Okay, no, mom's trying to eat the daffodil instead. Okay, apparently I can't give Rowan the daffodil either. Good morning, Leia. Oh, it's some fresh coffee. Thank you so much. My morning just wouldn't be complete without a hot cup of coffee. Well, I'm so happy to hear that. I will go ahead and gift you a cup of coffee right back. There we go. And I will get some fresh coffee from over here. Um, and let's cook up something fresh for my family to start the day with. So what about pepper poppers? Pepper poppers, what about pepper poppers? Just something nice and spicy to start this lovely spring day. But hello everyone and welcome back to Mossley Farm. And we're getting a little bit more organized. Now that the absolute chaos and excitement of starting our adventures here in the beta version of Stardew Valley is starting to calm down a little bit. Ah, holy ancient fruit wine, oh my gosh. But now that some of those adventures are starting to calm down, I am beginning to focus on, um, I'm beginning to focus on actually being slightly more organized, so I like to think, with everything that we end up doing here on our farm. And of course, as soon as I say that, I come on down and find ourselves completely swamped, completely swamped with uh, ancient fruit wine that is ready to harvest. So let's go ahead and collect up that wonderful sparkling fruit juice. There we go, there we go. We'll just come up along here. And it looks like we are making a ton of Iridium Ancient Fruit Wine, slowly but surely. So I'm actually going to save all of this so that when all of the Ancient Fruit Wines that will hopefully be done soon inside of these kegs pop out, we'll be able to fill them up and leave them even longer. Not that money is an issue anymore since I have some magical cactuses that give me pearls. Long story, you guys know it by now. All right, we have some truffle oil to put away. These are all going to be put away to cook with. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put in the forge goods right over here if I can. Okay, I can't put all of them away, but that's okay. All right, so we will give away those flowers as gifts today. I have some pancakes to eat if I want to. I need to plant that orange tree. I need to leave this garlic here. What are you doing, garlic? Ah, uh, well, I'll just leave it upstairs for now. Ugh, back and forth, back and forth we go with all of this chaos. All right, there's those. We'll leave vegetables in here. I'm just gonna chuck the truffle oil and garlic in here. Ha! Huh! And then I'm actually organized for once. All right. Well, today I really want to work on getting a new outfit, which I forgot to do the last time we ran to visit with the wizard. I would like to put up some lovely plant pots to get some experimental plant seeds growing inside of my house. Mystery plant seeds, given the opportunity to grow forth into whatever mysterious plants they want to be. And I would like to maybe take down the Christmas decorations. Priorities, right? All right, let's run upstairs. I forgot Ken's birthday! I am a terrible person! Oh my gosh! I can't believe I forgot Ken's birthday! Oh, I feel so bad! Oh my goodness! Yeah, I imagine the spirits are displeased! I forgot somebody's birthday! That's really sad! I will strive to do better, Kent. I'm sorry. Oh, maybe this is a letter and it'll be like, you weren't at my birthday yesterday. I'm sorry, Kent. Hey there! I had some extra wood lying around. I thought maybe you could use it. Take care! From Robin. Thank you, Robin! In fact, with all of the new money that we have somehow miraculously managed to come into, I really should possibly consider like hiring Robin uh, to come and take care of some of the things on my farm. Okay, the kale is not yet ready. But maybe we could hire Robin in order to come and, like, upgrade the rabbit hutch before I even put any rabbits in it, for instance. So that might be a good idea. All right, let's come over here. And we actually need to clear out a spot for this new fruit tree. The orange fruit tree that I am hauling around inside my pocket. All right, let's make sure everything is nice and clear. And then we're going to give it a little bit of space from the other fruit trees. Okay, I meant to give it a bit more space than that, but it seems happy to be there. So that's awesome. All right, moving on. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Hello, my wonderful hens. Uh, hello, my wonderful trellises for all of the bean plants that are kind of in my way. All right, good, good, good. Everybody seems happy here. I'm going to give everybody pats. 
And it looks like the grass, hello Noodle Doodles. It looks like the grass is finally getting a chance to really come on in. Buying a couple hundred, a couple hundred of the grass um, pieces and putting them down appears. <gasps> a new chicken! Yay! Okay, let's just randomize the name Snoopimo Rozzy Watsu. Oh, Sabilla, that sounds very nice. Is it a blue chicken? That is the question. I don't know. We're gonna have to wait until little Sabilla grows up. I'm hoping it's gonna be one of the blue chickens. That's my true blue desire is to have it hatch into a little blue chicken. So let's put in some of the feed so that she has something to eat just in case she's too teensy and she can't quite figure it out on her own. There we go. Hi, little one. Gosh, that's so cute. It's been so long since I've had a chicken hatch for me. There we go. No, don't eat the egg. Just put a put the egg in the mayonnaise maker. Stop making this more difficult than it needs to be. All right, we'll grab this one to you. All right, we'll chuck all of these in. I should probably go ahead and throw that wool into the yarn makers. And then I think I could keep the void egg and give it to Krovis. Uh, I mean, why not? I might as well go visit Krovis. Maybe he has something for sale that we want. Uh, oh, and there's another egg. And I can just give some random person some more eggs. Oh, here's more eggs. <laughs> this place was full of eggs. Imagine that. It is my, oh, well, all right. It is my chicken coop, but still. Uh, all right. And I'm going to go ahead and just put down one hay so the little baby has something to eat. So that's fantastic. New baby chick chick. Very good sign. Oh, it came out to eat. Ah, it's so cute! It's so cute! I love baby chickens! Signs of spring and hope of spring for sure. Alright, let's peek inside my greenhouse. Oh, as always, completely full of all sorts of interesting things uh, to be able to just come in. Alright, hopefully we can harvest all this up, no problem. I probably need to plant more things too. I, I, really, I really feel badly that, I mean... I have a cheaty cactuses, but I'm not going to question it. It's just going to be the way it's going to be. All right, let's come up here. I wonder if you can get those from being friends with Sandy or something. <gasps> I should go give Sandy some of the pearls. I know she loves flowers, but everybody loves the pearls. I can't blame them because they're worth bazookers. They're worth absolute bazookers. All right, there's that. Might as well get some more of... Oops, my inventory is completely full. Of course it would be. All right, come along, Roastone. I think my farm is finally starting to kind of balance itself out. It was really, really chaotic there for the first few days, to be completely honest. But now I feel like it is starting to balance itself out. So we're just going to sell all of this. Um, sell that, sell these, and I guess sell the iridium egg. And I'll keep the coffee beans, because I know that Leia loves coffee beans. But yeah, we might also go up and visit with uh, Robin and have her start doing some upgrades for us. Uh, and I want my plant pots. I want my plant pots today. That is definitely something I want to happen. So what is it going to take? I need more stones. So all right, Rose Stone, that's the first thing we're going to do. I'm going to make sure that my experimental plant pots are created. That is one of the big things I want to do with my day today. And then we'll go see if we can visit the wizard and change my outfit because that would be really cool too. All right, I need more stones. <laughs> this is an excellent excuse to go visit the mines if I have ever seen one. Those of you who have been around for a while know that I really, I have a bit of an addiction to going to the mines. It's just so much fun. It is just so awesome. But we also haven't been up there yet. So it might really be worth it to kind of nose around. I'll just write on rose stone. And we'll go nose around the mines and possibly see something, uh, possibly see something special. Oh, hey, Mr. Mayor. I hope things are going well for the Mossley Farm. I'd hate, I hate to see it all dried up. No, I promise you, things are going perfectly well, you could say. Do you get it? Maybe pearl, 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 perfectly well. Oh gosh, that's a tongue twister. All right, we're still early enough in the season I can plant cauliflower. Don't mind me, Pierre. Don't question this. You don't need to know, my friend. Trust me. You, in fact, you, you really, you don't need to know. Here, I'm going to actually sell you these things because you don't, you don't need to ask questions. Just accept that somehow I have, I have come in with my, my wallet 
just ready, full of gold coins to buy everything I can from you, my friend. I'm going to buy rice. I've never bought rice. I could start making sushi. Do you know how much I love vegetarian sushi? I love it very much. And now I can just buy it from you. So that's pretty awesome, actually. All right. So there we go. Um, let's see. Oil, vinegar. I, I have never really gone whole hog on buying some of these ingredients because they're so expensive. But now I can just like roll around in it. So why not? <laughs> this is ridiculous. All right. Well, let's say hello to everybody really quickly. This stuff can definitely be incorporated into a healthy diet. Oh, that's wonderful to hear. The food of Pierre's is so much fresher and healthier than anything I ever bought at Jojoa Mart. I do miss those cheap Jojoa prices, though. I see, Pierre. Maybe a few of my seeds will spruce things up. Trust me, they are. Abigail? The birds were happily chirping today. They're not too simple. Uh, they're too simple to understand the future. Oh, Abigail, I'm sorry. I know our breakup was hard, but you gotta look forward to things a little bit more positively. I promise. All right, well, let's keep moving. We're gonna make those plant pots and we're gonna plant Evelyn some beautiful, beautiful things in her house. I'm really hoping that'll work. It would be just the cutest thing in the world to be able to just start putting flowers in everybody's homes. <laughs> that is like 800% what I always wish for is to be able, hello Maru, you're literally blocking my ability. Oh, Linus, I was wondering where you went. Oh my gosh, we have a new Linus event, you guys. Linus, do you wanna come live in my Jumal hut? I'm sure they'd take you in. They even can say hello. Yep. Oh, it's Linus, right? He's been living behind your house for ages. Are you hungry? I could ha make you some lunch. How about some leftover cave carrot stew? <gasps> That's very nice of you, but no thanks. I've had great luck with foraging today. <laughs> okay. Siri, you look like you have something to say. Linus, I'm just pleased that Linus is doing well. I'd like to invite Linus to live on the farm with me. Well, he's doing well. And you have to respect somebody's autonomy. You have to respect somebody's autonomy. He seemed so happy that he had really good luck. He gently turned down the cave carrot. He seems, he seems content. I'm hoping that was the right decision. Thanks, Siri. You had me worried there. I thought you were going to ask me to move on the farm with you. Wink. You know, I consider you my closest friend in the valley. You've never tried to fix me. You respect my way of life, even if you don't understand it. Oh, I'm so glad I picked the right thing. I was just joking about you moving into the Junimo hut. I promise. I really appreciate that. He seems really happy, like a man of the forest. Ah, can you smell that? It's the sweet aroma of ripe berries. I'm glad that he's happy. I'm so happy I picked that. Oh, what a sweetheart. Gosh, and here I was trying to have him move into my Junimo hut. Linus, I am so sorry. I take it back. Okay, wait, let me run in here. Hey, Robin. Uh, com community upgrade? <gasps> community upgrade? What? Robin, what? What? Oh. My. Gosh. You can build... Pam a house. That's a great idea. I just need 950 wood and half a million gold. I told you guys we were going to put those pearls in a good place. And now I know we are. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna build Pam a house. Linus may not need a home, but Pam does. A home for everyone, a home for the Junimo, a home for my little chick. I've got tears in my eyes. I literally have tears in my eyes. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna mess up my glasses. I can't see. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes, I want a community upgrade. Yes, I want to contribute more to the valley. Yes, I want to do something with my cheaty, cheaty amounts of pearls. 
<laughs> That's fantastic. I cannot wait to help out with that. Oh my gosh. Oh look, there's new seasonal plants and what? Little log sections for decorating the farm and different fireplaces you can put all over the place. And a stump brazier. There we go. <laughs> Not brazier. There we go. I can learn how to make that and that would be a much better way to light up my farm. A more natural looking, which I really appreciate. And I really like these cute little log sections. I wonder if I can get them from my, um, if I can get them from my catalog that I already have. My furniture catalog. I'm gonna have to look into that. Uh, and I'm just gonna buy some stones. Uh, don't mind me, just maybe taking the lazy way about it. Uh, just a few of them, just like a hundred stone. We'll just buy like a hundred stone, okay? And let's see how how much I can, how many, okay, I can make 10. Uh, okay, that's good. All right, thank you, thank you so much, Robin. How are you doing today? And I will come talk to you about Pam's house upgrade. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. I would, uh, I would talk to him about it, but he never opens up to me. Who, Linus, I guess? Demetrius, are you and your wife having having issues? Robin has a heart. Uh, oh, apparently, Robin has a hot temper. It's better to stay on her good side. Now, if only I could quantify her mood levels, perhaps I could model the fluctuations. E oh no, 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 dear. All right. Well, you know what? Maybe I could plant. Could I plant like something in his room? I know I really want to. Oh, I probably could. Ah, oh, I'm gonna decorate plants in everybody's houses. This is my dream come true, Rose Stone. Rose Stone, at least ride. She was just like dragging along the ground. That's so funny. This is truly my dream come true to be able to make these garden pots and just decorate people's houses and do community upgrades. Are you kidding me? That's just fantastic. And there's noodle doodle worms everywhere. Yes, with those mixed seeds. This is awesome. Linus, you can learn a lot from trees. Spend time with them and they might tell you their secrets. Linus, that is awesome. Gosh, I just feel so happy about having having made the right choice with respecting the fact that he wants to live in the wild. There's noodle doodle worms in the grass now that I need to find. All right, let's go ahead and grab the leek. I'm just so happy to be back in the valley and I'm so amazed. It's like a dream to have more to talk about with all of the people I made friends with from so long ago. It's just so cool. All right, well, let's see if I have any places to sneak in a cauliflower or two. Looks like I may have a couple spots where we actually already harvested things. Uh-huh. So I can go ahead and plant some cauliflower. And then I think I got most everything I wanted to do for the day, maybe. Uh, uh, okay, I need to make the garden pots. We'll do that and then we might go visit with the wizard so I can kind of change my outfit for the day. All right, phew, about time. We finally managed to fill in all of the gaps that, that I think we had. There we go. And put something down so that we will have a very productive, productive yard this spring. And I do need to make one, two more sprinklers. I probably should just move the ones I'm not using in here out to be completely honest. Like this one, not using. It can go ahead and go outside. Um, I probably need to go ahead and turn the starfruit into more starfruit seeds. That would be a good idea to you. And then maybe get the starfruit planted actually. Ah, man, keeping up with all of these things. So that I have plenty of star fruit for the future. Keeping up with all of this can be a little bit tricky sometimes, but I'm on it. I got this. We're gonna do okay. Okay, move out of the way. There we go. And there we go. I should have used down some of the quick grow stuff. Do I have any of the quick grow in here? Quick grow fertilizer. I have some inside and now I could buy some from Pierre. But wow, I'm really actually kind of blown away that we can upgrade Pam's house. Does that also give Penny a house? Could that be a way where I could finally apologize in my own way to Penny for the way that things just completely fell apart between us? That might be a really nice way to, to say I could apologize to her. Building her and her mom a home. Because we're part of a community. I feel like sometimes people might be like, oh, you should pull yourself up from your bootstraps and, and you know, you should be able to build your own home. But Pam's really pushing through her alcoholic tendencies and starting to like try to work hard at her job as a 
as a bus driver, but it would probably take her a long time to be able to build something. And if I have the resources and we share the valley together, I should do it. All right, so let's come outside. I at least have one more sprinkler and we can put down some more tulips. So that'll make me happy. Yeah. <laughs> There's just so much, just so much and I love it. Oh, I wish I should have watered after I got all of this. There we go, taken care of. All right, and tulip bulbs all over the place. And there we are. And we'll go ahead and come over here. Boom, all right. Just need one more sprinkler. And for one more sprinkler to wrap up my flowers, I would need an iron bar, a gold bar, <gasps> and the refined quartz. Not my precious refined quartz. It suddenly has an entirely new and immensely important and valuable function in my life. Uh, let's see. Well, I have, do I have quartz? I have a lot of quartz. I should be refining these puppies. What am I doing? There we go. Now I have no excuse to, oh, other than the fact I'm low on bars. <laughs> now I have no excuse not to go ahead and just straight up make a whole bunch more sprinklers and more garden pots, which makes me pretty happy. All right, there we go. Last quality sprinkler so I can get tons and tons of flowers in. Yeah, you know what? The other day, my beloved Chips, the love of my life, was telling me something, my friends. And he was saying, you are capable of so much. You are able to do so much. You are determined. And when you put your mind to something, you are disciplined and you are able to get things done that other people would give up on. However... You are so disorganized that that is why you always fail to meet so many of your goals. And I just, I had to own it, my friends. He was speaking the truth. And so I'm going to try to be a little bit more organized, including in Stardew Valley. Uh, all right, let's get out. Move. A few of you can grow, but not all of you. All right. And we'll throw the quartz in here. Um, hmm. Hmm. And let's go inside and plant my little plant pots because I knew that's what I wanted to do with my day. Phew! I really hope- Oh, that little Junimo hut has a little light inside! Oh, they're so cute! They're so cute! I need to get more grass and just spread grass around their house. I think that's the correct thing to do because I'm pretty sure they would harvest up any- Oh, Leia! Hello! I saw a wild rabbit today. I just wish I could pet one someday. They look so soft. Oh, that's so sweet, Leia. I really love that idea. All right, let's do this. There we go. No, my whole fireplace. What? <laughs> what even? Well, I guess I could install. Oh my gosh. I didn't know you could just move your whole fireplace. Um, I mean, I guess I could install a new fireplace and that does beg the question. Can I just come straight up here? Okay, that's the wallpaper. Let's go to the furniture catalog. Cause that does beg the question. Can I just walk down here and what do we find? I should have looked in here before. All right, benches, armchairs, couches. Ooh, look at that woodsy couch. I don't remember that one. Lots of dressers. Look at all of these, some nice tables. I might wanna change the table that we currently are using. Um, oh, the luau table is so cool. Oh, they're little tea tables, a china cabinet, the artist bookcase, a whole bunch of bookshelves. Whoa, ceramic and gold pillars and pipes. Have those always been there? Indoor palms, totem poles. Oh my gosh, why did I not check this sooner? There's the globe and the, oh, a small crystal, a decorative lantern, what? Look at my house plants. I always love the house plants. I want to put all of these in the like botany area of our, our little fake museum that we're building in my shed. Um, country lamp, box lamp. Maybe I should put down more box lamps. Maybe in here, maybe. It is a little dark in there. Uh, the dark rug, whole bunch of paintings. Interesting. That skull poster I feel like is new too. Hmm, windows. The green cottage rug. Oh, that world map is really cool. That would be perfect in my museum. The carved window and the ornate window. The tree column. The tree column? What? Leia, don't ask questions. I have to put this inside of our house. <laughs> the bonsai tree. Look at that. The candle lamp. Miner's crest I've seen before. Look at all of this. What? Stone fireplace and brick fireplace. And then 
It's not in there, you guys. That is so interesting. Also, Leah, don't worry about this. I just have to have this tree column. I will explain later. <laughs> but that is so interesting because um, the fireplace that was for sale at Robin's place is not in there. So it might be like completely new. Oh my gosh. All right, and I think I can have a few more of these garden pots, like maybe four more in my house because I think I have a safe zone right here where my family won't get stuck. And then I have a spot right here where my family won't get stuck, but I have to be careful. <laughs> if I use too many, my family might get stuck and that would be somewhat devastating. Uh, all right, so let's see. I can put in, I'm gonna put down this basic retaining soil. Oh, and I have a nice big chunk of clay in here and I have more mixed seeds in here, but I'm gonna put down this basic retaining soil mix so that hopefully I don't have to water these every day and they can just kind of be like a fun thing we run by and we're like, oh, what's it gonna grow into? Are those gonna be, are those gonna be like potatoes? Hopefully they can be almost anything because we're planting them indoors. So maybe they'll grow up to be something we completely don't expect, which would be very, very exciting. And I should actually put all of those seeds outside now that I think about it. All right, and all of you can just go in here for now. <laughs> every day, I swear, I'm going to be more organized today. And every day it just ends up being a mess of new discoveries. Okay. Well, I didn't manage to change my outfit. I did manage to get the garden pots up, which is a big victory, actually. Uh, I guess I can just go ahead and put the egg and the mayonnaise away. In fact, can I put the egg away in here? Let's see. Nope, I'm using little eggs. But I can put the egg away in here with the mayonnaise. And I can also put away the sugar, rice, and vinegar. Does that go in here? Sure enough. There we go. Feeling pretty fancy. Gotta admit it. I feel like I'm doing good, taking good care of my family, getting things done. Now, the last thing I'm going to get done for the day is actually taking down the Christmas decorations. Oh, I feel so cool. I'm actually able to take down the Christmas decorations. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Awesome. Maybe I should add more plants. <laughs> All right, let's put those away. Um, And then, yeah, okay, I have a little bonsai tree. There we go. Phew. And all these seeds can go back outside where they belong and I can take care of these things in the morning and uh, I think we've made it through another day and we know a little bit more about my dear friend Linus and I'm glad I chose to respect his life in the valley lived out how he wants it to be. So I'll see you guys next time and let's crawl in because I know some of you guys really like seeing how much money we make. from oh yeah yay all right and i'll see you all next time Bye bye